Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is lecture number 10 on solid state physics. Today, we want to discuss about the dielectric property of matters that is, the polarization local field at an atom, depolarization field, electric susceptibility, and polarizability. You can see this is the syllabus, uh, this portion that is the crystal structure, elementary lattice dynamics, magnetic properties of matter. These three units already covered in the previous nine lectures. Today we want to start this portion that is the dielectric property of matter. Today we want to cover up this portion and in the upcoming session we will be covering in the next portion that is you can see Drobe's theory, elementary band theory and superconductivity. So let's start today's discussion. Now first we need to know about the dielectric material. You know that is the material are mainly classified into three types, conductor, semiconductor, insulator. Conductor means there is a huge number of free electron. Now, if you apply the electric field externally, then the electrons are moved into the opposite direction of the electric field. This is in case of the uh, conductor. And there is no charge separation. That's why no electric field originated within the conductor. That's why the electric field within the conductor is zero. In case of semiconductor, the electron moves into the opposite of the electric field and uh, hole moves into the direction of this uh, electric field and uh, they are connected then they are flow a continuous current flow and no charge separation occur also here. So there is no field within the material. So in case of conductor and semiconductor, there are no internal electric field or the uh, no electric field generated within this material but in case of the insulator if you apply the external electric field the electrons are cannot moving in the opposite of the electric field this because this conductivity is zero its conductivity it's not uh, such a amount such so that electron can flow within the material that's why this electron are tilted towards this one and the atoms nucleus are in along the electric field they are separate out and there is a uh, is a electric field generated within that one uh, from from this point at this point we can say there is no electric field this is for this is for insulator insulator uh, for this point we can say there is uh, no electric field but experimental result experimental result gives there is electric field how uh, you can see in case of the parallel plate capacitor in the in the electric field uh, in case of conductor you can see this electric field within this material is zero there is no change in electric field but in case of insulator they are produced in opposite field within this material and the resultant electric field will be changed uh, because in practical uh, when we in uh, in march the insulating material within the uh, gap between the parallel plate capacitor with respect to air the capacitance will increases with respect to air the capacitance will increases and the charge uh, as the charge is constant so voltage is decreased so uh, electric field also decreases that's why the electric field within this insulator is decreases and that's generate the polarization phenomena now the dielectric material what do you mean by dielectric material actually in this uh, insulating material there is a charge separation and produce the electric field within this material the material which are electrically insulated this cannot flow the electron or, or the current cannot flow the current within this material through this material but if we apply some external field the bound positive and negative charge are affected this uh, uh, along the electric field this uh, positive and negative charge are separate out and produce dipole you know what is this dipole dipole is nothing but equal opposite charge separated by a certain distance is called dipole and the direction will be negative to positive so this dipole moment p vector equal to q into l vector l is the l vector is the distance and q is the charge right so this is dipole moment and here this uh, factor that depends on the capacitance that is the dielectric constant which is epsilon by epsilon naught epsilon is permittivity of this dielectric material epsilon naught is permittivity of the air or free space 
the ratio of this two permittivity is known as dialectic constant and this dialectic constant actually says the, uh, says the uh, capacitance dependence right so next is polarization polarization means when we apply the external field the dipoles are generated we know this uh, dipoles are generated due to charge separation the dipole moment per unit volume is known as the polarization right so when we apply external field e0 then the internal dipoles are oppositely aligned with this electric field and produce opposite di uh, electric field so the resultant electric field e within this material will be the summation of these two field okay this ep is the polarization field and this ep is actually proportional to the external field when when this uh, field is increases the polarization also increases and this ratio is known as the susceptibility right and now comes into the local field local field means the electric field at the side of atom or molecules that is defined on macroscopic electric field when we take account in the overall material then this is called the macroscopic electric field but when we consider the atom or molecule level electric field then this is called local electric field in case of uv symmetry this local electric field formula will be like that and now comes into the polarizability polarizability means the dipole moment per unit local field at the atom is called the polarizability dipole moment produced per unit local field is known as the polarizability and the polarization field actually when we apply this is a dielectric material or the insulating and if you apply the electric field what happens the dipoles are generated and finally this negative charge here and this positive charge here this cannot make the this cannot make this dipole this charge this charge cannot from dipole this charge cannot uh, from dipole and this cannot account in polarization cannot cannot account it account it into polarization so that's why this is known as the depolarization field that's why this field this field produces this so this is a charge separation this field known as depolarization field this field known as depolarization field depolarization because it does not account in polarization okay so this polar depolarization field are come into this uh, into this expression that is ed equals to minus n to vector by epsilon. so i think clear about these things and the next class will be discussed in the upcoming part of this syllabus so this is all about me and this is my contact detail you can connect me with this telegram channel and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel will be there defined few related videos of mathematics like this session, if you learn something from this session, share this video to your friends, either he or she also get benefit from this video. Subscribe to this channel if you need this channel, those already subscribed. Thanks for subscribing. Press the bell icon to get notification of our time. So take care, we will meet in the next video. Thank you.